Well, Tammy, all of those raids centered around cannabis culture and the owners, Mark and Jody uh, Emery. In total, five people were arrested, including one of their pot shop associates, actually the co-owner of the Church Street location. She was handcuffed right in front of me, and it all went down right here inside the old City Hall Courthouse. Can I ask what the charges are? I'm being charged with possession for the purpose of trafficking, but I believe in my right to possess cannabis, and I think everyone should stand up and be open about their cannabis use. The franchise owner of the cannabis culture on Church Street was detained inside the courthouse as her pot shop was being swarmed by cops. Aaron Goodwin, who was here to support the Emery's, was handcuffed and then led into a waiting cruiser. This is a injustice that's happening across Canada, and as a country, we should stand up and be progressive. The so-called Prince and Princess of Pop were arrested last night before boarding a plane at Pearson Airport. <laughs> Hours later, their chain of dispensaries was raided from Ottawa to Vancouver. As I understand it, the Crown is seeking substantial sureties. Uh, somewhere in the amount of $200,000 per accused. Court documents show between the married couple, more than two dozen have been laid, including possession for the purpose of trafficking and conspiracy to commit an indictable offense. Both were in uh, decent spirits, as decent as you can be in when you're locked in a cage and your liberty has been restricted and deprived for no good reason. Uh, Mark, of course, uh, plans to fight as hard as he can and as he always has. Cannabis culture has 20 locations across the country. The majority of them are now shut down due to police raids from today and the past couple months. Are you completely blindsided by what happened uh, today? How this went yeah. down? Actually, yes, yes and no. And no. <laughs> so this morning, as we were on our way to court this morning, there was a reminder that that uh, this could very well happen. That the, the Emory should, you know, we should look at. Everyone should be careful that raids would be coming today. What we weren't expecting is that it was going to be a, a cross-country RCMP raid. Close friends and marijuana advocates say it's clear the Emery's were specifically targeted because it was exclusively cannabis cultures that were raided. If you look at the cannabis culture stores, I mean, they're busy. There's lineups across around the corner every time they open. The public is obviously voting with their dollar. The Emery's will remain behind bars for at least one more night. Their bail hearing was pushed over, with the Crown arguing more charges are pending from the 11 warrants carried out. Free the weed! It helps. It's a harmless drug. Advocates say the bus today are only fanning the fire. You keep taking them down, you just you just plant more seeds. You plant more activists and you plant more angry people. Now, those who are close to the cannabis cultures raided today tell me that suppliers have already been notified and the plan is to have all of these dispensaries that were shut down back up and running by tomorrow.